It was 60 years ago this very day that I turned four years old. My dad came walking into the living room. He had a fishing pole and he said, Davey, let's go fishing. Well, he drove me all the way up the canyon to the reservoir. He got out a rubber life raft in the back of his pickup truck, blew it up with the exhaust from the engine, put it out in the lake, and we went fishing. The problem is that boat had holes in the floor and water came in it. It got deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, I was dragging the worm behind the boat, my dad was rowing, and all of a sudden my pole went boom. And dad goes, Davy, you caught a fish, Davy. Keep reeling, keep reeling, Davy. Don't stop, keep reeling. And so I was reeling as fast as I could. And when that fish got right up next to the boat, my dad grabbed the line and he pulled on it to get that fish to come out of the water and into our boat. And that fish slapped my dad right in the face. <laughs> Very fortunate for the fish. The hook fell out of its mouth, and the fish fell down into the water, and it was trying to get away. Unfortunate for my dad, the hook, worm and all, got caught in his upper lip. He stop reeling, Davy! Stop reeling! Stop reeling, Davy! Well, my dad, he was so angry, he took the shoe off, and he was going to bash that fish and kill it. I didn't want him to kill it. I wanted to have my own fish pet. Don't kill him, Daddy, I want him. And so my dad, good father that he is, knew that the fish would be fresher, closer to the frying pan. <laughs> he loaded up the boat and the water and the fish in the back of the truck, took me home and found a wash tub. And he poured all that water with the fish into the wash tub. And I enjoyed for a little while playing with that fish, but he didn't want to play with me at all. All he'd do is try to get away. He's like, <clears throat> <laughs> Always running into the edge of the wash tub. <sighs> he wouldn't even eat any worms. You know how a five-year-old boy or four-year-old boy is just get tired. You don't want to play with them anymore. So I found other things to play with, like grasshoppers and horn toads. <sighs> I'll admit, I didn't take good care of that fish. And over a long period of time, ever so slowly, that water evaporated out of that tub. I was walking by one day and I, I smelled this most awful stink. And I went over and looked down into that wash tub and there was Fishy. That, that's what I named him, Fishy. And Fishy was just sitting there in that wash tub with his little fins stuck to the bottom of the tub. And he was looking up at me going, <laughs> but you know, that water evaporated so slowly, fishy became acclimated to breathing air. <laughs> oh, this is great! I ran in the house, I got my mom's squirt bottle, she used for ironing. I came out and squirt, 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 and I finally separated fishy's fins from the bottom of the tub. Then I went in the house and I got a shoelace out of my dad's boot. I tied that shoelace around Fishy. I brought him out of the wash tub. I set him down. I said, Hill, Fishy, Hill. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Hill, Fishy. And I taught Fishy how to heal. The next thing I taught him, roll over and flap like a fish. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And Fishy finally learned to roll over and flap like a fish. Then, I taught him how to play dead. <laughs> well, I was teaching him how to fetch when my dad got home. And my dad was so excited to see a fish living out of water and breathing that he went in the house to find his Kodak brownie camera. Well, it was at this time that he smelled the stream in the backyard. And he went flopping towards that stream. Well, I was looking for waiting for Dad, and I turned around and Fishy was halfway toward the stream. And I'm running after him, Fishy, Fishy, don't jump in the water, Fishy, don't, don't. And my dad comes out and goes, Davy, catch that fish. That fish is worth a million dollars. Davy, get that fish. So I ran even faster, but I was only four. And Fishy 
ran right up to the edge of the stream and he jumped in the water and he drowned. 